Hi friends, I'm Chantelle from 141 Design Company and welcome to my channel. In this episode, I've got a project bag parade. Not necessarily a whip parade, just the project bag parades, that's right. I've got the majority of my collection here on the table with me tonight so you get to see most of them. And I'm going to go through and share little details about why I like them, what they're about, who made them, where you can get them, and just have some fun with it. It's definitely grown into be a collection within the year and a half. I'm not sure what my obsession is with them, but it certainly is fun. And I know a lot of you probably feel the same. So let's get started with the big one. And this is a bag that was done by Tammy Blaylock of Creative Country Girl. And it is a giant retreat bag. And I had it crafted, but um, Tammy made it for me out of the Tiny Beast Fabrics from Tula Pink. So you've got, see I've got the deer print, I've got stripes and polka dots, and it's all just crazy fun. Inside, there is those raccoons, cause I am a raccoon girl, that's for sure. And I've got pockets on the side. So this is a bag that I'll take with me to retreat. And I know that Tammy does craft these and create these for others. And you can talk to her about having one custom made for you too, if you'd like. And then other items that I've kind of curated and collected to go with my bag are in the same fabrics, but from other designers. So for instance, this is what's called a bionic gear bag. And this is something that I got from a company called Strawberry Quilt Cake on Etsy. And a bionic gear bag opens up with all sorts of pockets and nooks and crannies for tucking all of those notions and you know whatnots that you need when you're on retreat. And it's a great place to, let's see some of the things I have in here. I've got some of those like thimble pads. I've got cleaning cloths and needle minders. And this one isn't even full right now because I've got it kind of put away. I'm using other things. And so this is just kind of the remnants of what I normally put in here, but I'll put in here needles and scissors and lotion and all sorts of things and then zip it all up and it is my retreat go bag. So that's the bionic year bag goes in my retreat bag. Another item I have and this is also from Strawberry Quilt Cake. This is a little needle book. So you can see I keep my needles on this. It is stiff and I just love it. You can see how big it is. Obviously it's done in the Tiny Beast print with the deer. So I lo love that. I also was able to get this little pin cushion. You know, cause why not? This is done by, um, dolls and their girls off of Etsy. And you can see I've got my deer and it's that cute little pin cushion goes with my stuff. Another bag that Tammy made as well out of the same fabric to complement it. And this is super padded. So it has the um, soft and stable in it. And she put this cute little button on the zipper. And this bag at the moment is what I will put a, maybe an extra daylight go light in here. Um, anything that I need to keep a little more protected. I don't necessarily put a project in this one, but I put the things that are like my on the go thing. iPad, it's nice for that. It just keeps, it's got a little extra padding than most. So I like to keep that in there. And then I also have another project bag that matches my set. So when I am on the go, my stuff all coordinates and I put all of my projects inside this collection. This bag was crafted by Como Stitches. She made this bag. So you can see I was able to kind of use a lot of different bag vendors and put together using the same fabrics, a complete collection. And then to top it all off, my friend Jessica from Sweetwater Stitcher made this beautiful stitching retreat mat. So this is my little stitching mat at my stitching spot. And it also goes in with my set. And here's the back. Now Jessica has a tutorial and pattern for the stitching mat and that's exactly what it is. I put this at my spot when I go to retreat and this is where I've got pockets here and magnets for needle minders. And then I put my other things on top of it. It just kind of defines my area. I put my stitching stand on it and then the rest of my things all coordinate 
and I am ready to hit the road with my needles and my pin cushions and my project bags, everything all in my retreat go bag. So that's item number one. And I normally keep that all just kind of packed away until I'm ready to use it and I'm heading out onto a retreat. Now, some other items that I have, obviously we're gonna get this one out of the way because I have quite a few. One of my favorite bag vendors, and it's probably the bag vendor that I started with when I started collecting, has been Dot Dot Goose Design. I was in a little rotation for a little bit, just to give you, tell you a secret. Um, it takes about two weeks to order a bag from Denise at Dot Dot Goose Design on Etsy. And what I would do is I would order a bag, and when the bag came in, I'd order another one. And that kept me in a little bit of a cycle to build up my collection just one at a time, every now and then, and I grabbed quite a few. I'm not going to tell you how many, but I will tell you that I do have enough to um, probably kit Mania at a chart a day and then continue to go from there. <laughs> so I've got a lot of her bags. Here's just a few in my collection. So Denise does a lot. She will do the vinyl front. This gives you a good idea for the size. They are a great size for fitting your chart and seeing what you have inside. I use these mostly for smalls is what I use them for. And she also has the little thread catcher that goes in with each one of them. And that fits in. You can get it with or without that. You can even just buy these separately. A number of times I usually buy them together. Denise also offers free shipping on her site. So head on over there. But we've got a shamrock. And I usually will pick hers up. I have a number that are just generic, but a lot of them are seasonal. So you'll see we have a shamrock, this Mickey Mouse, couldn't live without this. Got a patriotic Mickey with the floss. This adorable Halloween with the extra floss guy. And that's the print for that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, here's another Halloween. And the plaid on the back. And they're very nice because they're consistent in their sizes. So that's another reason why I like to collect them. This has got the thing inside too, Santa. A combo with a Priscilla's Prairie Plaids and Lori Holt's Cozy Christmas. And then this one I just had to have. I was nuts for the Blooming Bunch, the Marsha McCormick um, line. And I just love this one. And then I've got these and one that's actually glow in the dark with fireflies on it. And then a number of others, and I won't bore you with all of those, but they are all wonderful and I love them. And I do like the consistency in the sizing for these and for keeping the, all of my smalls in them because I have a plastic container that I got, you know, just at Home Goods that these all fit perfectly in. So that's a plus for going with a certain designer. Let me get those out of the way. Now, a next collection that I have, and these are more utilitarian than they are adorable and cute, but they're a little different. And so I do have, and I have a number of them, so I just brought out a couple to show you, but they are the mesh project bags that you can get from Fat Quarter Shop. A lot of them come like this one, they are gusseted at the bottom so they're a little bit bigger bag, which is nice if you have projects with a lot of floss to them. And these have come in the stitch quarterly. A lot of times when you get do a monthly club with Fat Quarter Shop, it will come with a mesh bag or a canvas bag. And I have quite a few mesh bags now just from the different stitch quarterlies. The Mad for Plaid bag comes, that's what this one is. It comes in a variety of colors. That is really crazy looking. Um, comes in different colors. And this one is, you've seen maybe some folks stitch designs on that one. From Shepherd's Bush, you can get patterns that are designed for stitching on the front. And then this one was in a set. So there's a smaller gray one and this one, and I think another one as well. 
Another mesh bag that's available at Fat Quarter Shop is called the Big Dotty Bag. It's huge. It is got a big gusset on the bottom. And this one is fabulous if you want to basically put a bag in a bag. So you've got a number of project bags and you want to collect them all and put them all together or you're collecting certain, you know, charts than bees or strawberries like I'm doing right now and you want to put them all together. That's fabulous. And then this is a cutie. They have a couple of this type of thing that's just the canvas bags. This one came from Fat Quarter Shop, but you can also pick up bags this size on Amazon and get a whole bundle of them. You can decorate them yourself or just leave them plain. They also come with a number of different prints on Amazon as well. But these are fabulous for keeping your floss in inside your project bags. So the mesh bags are available through Fat Quarter Shop. They have a number of other great bags as well that you can check out there. That also brings me into, because this obviously would be available at Fat Quarter Shop to pick up. And that's the zippy panel bag from Lori Holt, where you will cut the, I'm gonna show you a couple of them here. You're just going to cut, the panel is already pre-printed so that you cut them all up and then you sew the bags together yourself. To be honest with you, these have been some of my favorites. I love the softness, I love the size, and I love that a number of them came, you've got, I think you get four to create this size and you mix and match and the inside is also fabric. Oh, let's show you the inside of this one. So inside, we've got another Lori Holt print. It, the directions do not have you finish this off. This is just zigzag, so it's not an inside out. But I also have the smaller bags. There's some of these that I keep my floss in inside the Lori Holt zipper panel bags. I highly recommend these. I have loved them and used them over and over again. This we, These were from the first panel. So this is one of the smalls in the back. This is one of them with the back. This was another one. It's got a little stitcher charm on it. They do use the Lori Holt zippers, which are double zipper. So they zip together this way. And I bet you there's a mini one inside there. Sure enough is a mini one that goes with that. They're just precious and I love them. And then this one as well. Happiness is a full bobbin. And let's see if I've got a smaller one inside this one too. Oh no, but I do have this little guy that I got at a, look at that, isn't it cute? This one um, was part of a Smalls Exchange gift that someone had made when I was at a retreat. And I keep floss inside of it, inside the bag. Love it. So that's always fun to have coordinating small bags with your larger bags to hold the other stuff inside. The other set I haven't quite completed yet. So we've got a bag this on zipper panel two. You've got a set of zippers and then this is the panel. It has so many, I'm still here. So zippy bags two, I won't open the whole thing up, is the same idea with a bunch more. This one I believe is available right now. Zippy panel one is also, the directions are very easy and there is a video online from Lori on how to create your bags. And this one, I'm just looking for, it'll take about a day um, for me. I'm not the speediest sewer. So I need about a day to set aside and knock out four more bags for myself. So love those as well. Another style of bag that I really love is also the, it's non-vinyl, it's the fabric front bag, similar to these, but they're a little larger and they're patchworked. I pick up some from a company called Starry Owl Stitchery. And these I purchase on Etsy. She will list on her Instagram page when they're available. This is just a fun little charm that I picked up to go with it but this one um, was done in the Lori Holt. And you just have to pay attention. You wanna hit the notification on her Instagram page. And when you see them come up, 
You can go over to her Etsy shop. She'll tell you what time they'll be available. Go on over and grab. So I've got that one. I've got a few of them in the Lori Holt. And then this as a Christmas one from Starry Owl. See, they're all quilted and patchworked. And patchwork is my favorite style of quilting, to be honest with you. So I love these. And this really precious Halloween. I'll be looking forward to using that later this fall. And those are from Starry Owl Stitchery. I'll put that over there. Now, another Instagram purchase. So you'll follow the account Mrs. Jones Stitches to locate these and to see when they're available. Her mother, Julie Weston, is the one who is putting them together in construction, and then they will share with you when they are available. These are some that I've landed from buying from her and I've been very lucky it's getting harder and harder all the time to get them but I'm thrilled with the ones I have and I've got a couple others but I just thought I'd share a couple she does this adorable portfolio style which is a small size it is quilted and it's nice and padded and then inside you've got some extra pockets I picked up this one I also have a Christmas version which of course I don't have anything in right now but let's take a look inside oh look at isn't that sweet so you've got pockets here and pockets here and I've got a little Christmas version now this is a larger size and it's a vinyl front but it's also done by Julie and inside this one had like a little needle minder notion piece so I was able to get this this I bought separate but I felt like they kind of complemented each other. So this opens up this way. It is completely bound and inside you've got, you know, the felt, a ruler, some pockets. This is great for on the go for those extra needles and things. I really like these and I think you can get these just separately sometimes when she sells them. But I keep it with this and I have that one with the vinyl front. This is another one from Christmas which I liked because I felt a little different you know it's not your traditional just red and green so that one also came from um, mrs john stitches and her mom and so did this one which is a strawberry bag and i'm going to show you how this complements some others but this is a non-vinyl front but it does have the handle and things like that so that's also one that you would you know follow the instagram account and then head on over and pick up if you want I have a couple others that are the vinyl front. These are a little larger than the other ones, but I still do love them and they're padded. These came from Black Cat X Stitchery. They do have a little floss. My dog's snoring. Floss guy with a needle thing in there. And these little Christmas folk I thought were adorable. Also have this one. This one actually I think was gifted to me. It has some, some extra goodies I want to get out of there. There we go. And then the sewing theme. This is a Teresa Kogut fabric. And so that comes from Black Cat. Two of them that I picked up at a retreat when I was at Stitch West were some more in the Tula Pink fabric because I didn't I, I use these in the other bag too. There's not a lot that are in that fabric. So it was kind of exciting to see. Th she also put these cute little um, keychain type things on the bag to open your zippers with. And this one is coming from Sew for Fun by Cheryl. And all of these places I will link so that if you're looking for bags, you'll have a great um, resource for going and finding some. And then of course, if you are a bag vendor or you know of other bag vendors, please leave a comment in the description box below in the comments, because we'd all love to be able to track along and find more project bags. There's always room for another project bag, right? Now, another one that I am in a club with now is just from Como Stitches. And she is sending these on a regular basis and I'm getting quite the collection now but I ended up with a valentine which I've got stuff in it so this is a valentine stitch I love that fabric it's just a little different 
another vinyl front version. And then this one just came with the butterflies and the dark blue. This was, this is just really nice because it's versatile since I have so many that are seasonal. And speaking of seasonal, I was in a gift exchange over the holidays and it was for an or ornament exchange, correct? And so we were using this to put our Christmas stitching in for the ornament exchange. And then this one, I believe actually came with the or uh, an exchange and I love it. Christmas once again, a lot of Christmas ones. Now Jess from Como Stitches, she also does a quilted version. So I have one of hers as well with the fabric front, fabric insert, and the quilted squares. Love that. I love the earth tones to this one. Now we're getting into, let's do a couple more of the solid fabric style because my friend Barbara Johns, she's also making project bags. And I believe she, um, would be you'd be just contact her I will put her Instagram here so that you could message her but she, I got this one from her and I've got a cute little fall charm on there out of the Teresa Kogut fabric more actually they're all Teresa so they're for my Teresa collection and this one she uses the big wide zippers which I love and then on the inside has the little hook for hanging your floss Fabulous, and that Rick Rack, so cute. And then this one out of Teresa's, no, I, you know what? I'm gonna say this isn't Teresa, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure where she got, but see they're little um, Christmassy hoops. And again, the big zipper and the little hook on the inside for hanging your fabric. So those are also fabulous. Another one that is the patch quilt side, and these are from Michelle Lee Quilts. I've got this adorable one in kitty corn. Now Michelle does a little something extra with hers. She is a long arm quilter or has a long arm. She does this. So you can see hers are all quilted with a pattern which I think is really adorable. They're a little bit different size than the others. I'll show you again. Uh, Starry Owl, I really like this, this one. And Michelle's are just a little different size, not a lot. <clears throat> Love them both. And I have this one and then the truck for Christmas. On this particular one, I have one of those tags that are purchased from total framing and these help with identifying what is in your bag so you can write in the little jewelry tag what you've got inside and since they obviously aren't vinyl front this is also another one of hers love it now as a different style there's the portfolio style and i've got a couple of different portfolios you saw the small ones from julie there's also a Project Keeper Club from Tiger Lilla Design, and this was January's Project Keeper. It's two of the pink fabrics, so it's fun with my other things. She's got a choice. I believe you can do two vinyl, or you can also have the bobbin separators. And I went with the vinyl because I um, like to put my things on drops versus putting them on bobbins. And it's a nice thick padded portfolio. The other portfolios that I have are a little smaller and they're kind of small project related. I have three here to share and these are from Creative Carol on Etsy. These are quite something. They're very involved. You've got vinyl on this side and inside there's a pocket and a pocket in the back. This totally shocked me. I was not thinking that was there. You've got a place for thread, You've got another vinyl and of course, another dual pocket situation on that side. So I picked one up in the purple and I have this one, got a little project in it. Picked it up in this red. 
I should get after that project actually. And I've got it in strawberries. And I'll show you another fun thing about strawberries and themes and things like that is, for instance, I have one of those with this strawberry fabric from Creative Carol. Dot Dot Goose had a bag in the complimenting strawberry fabric, so I grabbed that. And then of course, I've got the large strawberry bag that they all go inside. So it's kind of a another one of those collections that I curated and put it all together and it all fits inside this bag. And yet it was from three different designers. So love that. Another portfolio style are smaller and I believe she's got some larger ones coming, but she also sells and shows she sells online, but she shows them through her Instagram. So you'll want to go over and check out Starlight Stinching Company on Instagram to see when she's posting more of these fun little cross stitch clutch is believe is what she calls it. So I've got a little collection going of these as well. And these have the vinyl front to them and she puts a little charm on. Inside that front pocket is another one of the double you know, you've got a little pocket behind and the pocket in the front. And then on the inside, it's all felt with this nice little spot for a needle. Thought I had a needle there for a second. I'm like, whoa, needle, need that. They disappear so fast. And I got a Mickey Mun. I love the Mickey one, my Mickey Christmas one. Isn't it precious? It's so cute. And then of course, um, some flea market fabric, which was quilted adorable, and a Christmas one. Another portfolio style theme is one that has come in recently. It's my latest one. And this is from House of Stitch and Stash, Rika. So you'll message her and follow her on her Instagram as well. And this brand new folio just arrived in the mail. Love it need to get something in it ASAP. Look at that inside. It's so precious. This little area has a little spot for your needle minder and then you've got um, spot here in the back on the side portfolio you know like vinyl front on this side and then a snap closure. So I got this one one with stitchy birds from Teresa Kogut. I'll show you the inside. I do have a project in this one. It is active as we would say. And one from Lori Holtz fabric. This also has a project inside that it needs to get a little attention as well apparently. And then finally, I just have a couple other stragglers to share. This is new to me. I haven't really purchased a lot from Stitch Folk, um, but with Brenda and Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter, Brenda's birthday sal, I went ahead and got that. I haven't started it, but it was um, Martha Evans. And so there was a coordinating project bag to go with it. And I thought, you know, that's just smart. Just get it all and have it all in one spot. So I went ahead and ordered it from Stitch Folk on Etsy and got this beautiful, this one's really cool because it's long. And it also came with a frippery from Minnie McBean, which, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I might need to even steal that and put it on some scissors. Love it, love it. Okay, so that is from Stitch Folk. And recently she has put on, you'll follow her on Instagram as well, and she's put on her Instagram that you can pre-order a couple of them. So I have two of them right now on pre-order that I'm really, really excited about. One of them is happy birthday. So I'm gonna put my birthday sal in that one, which we'll get here in time because my birthday's in June. And then the other one is for the Hands Across the Sea Letters from Europe um, birthday box that came from hands across the sea and Nicola. So I have those on order and they will be here in a while. It's going to be a while, but that's okay. I can handle that. I'm wait. I'm patient for that. Obviously I have enough bags, right? 
Now these aren't necessarily bags, but they're super precious and they're very fun to have beside you while you're stitching and also um, really useful. But I bought these from Jody Smith and she is um, stitching, oh crud, I know it's Ocala, but I can't read now, I'm sorry. Simply Stitching Ocala, that's right, o Ocala, Ocala. Um, but they're little art bags and she hand makes these and has her cute little handmade tag on there. So these are really precious and you'll probably follow her on her Instagram as well. And you will find out when she is selling those if you need a little art catcher and container. Now, the one that is my all time favorite right now, and it's not really a stitching bag, but it's kind of like one of those, um, I've heard the term say, it's like, what's saving me today, you know, right now, what's saving me? And is this little tote that I purchased from Kahana. Look at this tote. I love the waxed canvas, the tiny little side pockets, and inside, I don't wanna spill it all. Inside I purchased extra little bags to go in the bag, that bag in a bag concept. And this is one of those things that is just plopped beside me in my stitching chair and I am loving it. So inside, I've got my Kahana scissors on the outside, a few of those, because they've got this skinny little um, pocket on the ends and I've got the little sleeve right inside there. Where'd it go? It's in there. That the scissors go on, I put it right inside. So now my scissors just slip right in there and just come right out, but they're inside that leather and I love it. It fits just right. This one is not, this is in a little bit larger pocket, but I have these scissors out and I just wanted to get them someplace where they'd be safe. But on the other side is yet another one of those pockets and scissors in a sleeve. And then inside, like I said, I've got two extra little boxes that came with it and I'll keep lotion, I'll keep needles, got some Blistex and a hair tie, um, a little thread ripper outer thing. I keep the, um, Unpicker, I use that more than I can say. This little guy, the Unpicker, is available at Fat Quarter Shop. And a lot of times it's not that I'm constantly pulling my threads, right? But it's a great pointer. Like it's a great like counter, you know, like I point at my stitches with it and count. My fingernails are too thick, so I don't, it bugs me to do that. I've got a glasses cleaner in here and then my, um, my hoops that I have fit, right? I've got this oval one, which I use daily, and a six inch round, which I'd use daily, and they fit right inside there. So this is kind of my chair side buddy. Now, a lot of the products that are usually in here too are missing right now because I was traveling and took them in this little jewelry box um, adaptation that Jessica put together and you may have seen others. So I've got some items that are in here that I do keep beside me on this. So for instance, this little Kahana doll has needles inside. It goes like this. And I keep that inside my little bucket. This is a little thread waxer that was a gift from Jessica. My eyeglasses. They go inside here too. There is a needle minder that I normally have clipped to the outside of my bag like this. And another unstitcher, which goes in here. This I had was using cause I did travel. So I'll like unstitch it. And then this Mc, mini McBeans frippery is also another pair that kind of go with my my bag so that's my normal setup with that and my glasses everything that i use while i'm stitching in my chair next to me is right there and a lot of times i can even kind of tuck my floss inside there but it's a great little travel um travel i say like a carry around the house kind of tote with my stitching supplies and that's 
basically one of my favorites at the moment. But those are my bags that I use and I'm sure there will be many more. There's always bags coming out. I've got another one on order right now. Oh, I do. Let me show you this as well because this was something that was referred to. Um, Sherry at Colorado Cross Stitcher was referring the bog bag, the giant version for, you know, a great on the go stitching tote. And it does come in two sizes. So that's a large one. And I also have a little smaller one. This is a great one for, look, project bags fit perfectly edge to edge in there. And inside here, I do have one more bag that came from Blue Ribbon Design and it was a recent purchase. So this is a great little bag as well. So thanks for coming along on a little project bag whip parade or project bag parade, I guess. I do have some projects in most of them, but I wanted to just share that with you and thanks for joining me and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.